it's Monday, kind of dreary outside. Abby and Alyssa here, we're going to bring you a little max out Monday. Not going to lie, I'm struggling a little bit today, but we'll do it. Join with us. Alyssa's going to talk to you about a couple things. Yes, so make sure if you got your kiddos, um, everyone's got their kiddos at home. We're doing a superhero workout today with LT. That's at 11, so wear your favorite superhero costume. Um, you can just wear a costume if you want, right? We're going to dress up as superheroes. I'm just wearing my Iron Man t-shirt to uh, get ready for that. Um, so today, we're going to get right into it real quick. I'm going to start you off with a little bit uh, less intense exercises. Uh, but they're still going to they're gonna burn a little bit. So most importantly on all of these, I want you guys to do the proper form. Okay? Lefty's really excited to work out. Proper form. So that means when you, if we get to, let's say, 45 seconds or even 30 seconds and you are struggling, don't start doing these half or goofy reps. Uh, that isn't the proper technique. I want you just to take and rest then. If you get some more energy before the minute is up, by all means, jump back in. Um, so actually, let's see. We have where you're at, where you're working out from, who's here. We always want to know that. Send pictures. Yeah, send, send pictures. Let us know where you're working out from. If you have any suggestions or anything you want to see. Um, okay, we got some people jumping on here. I'm going to get after it in about uh, 20 seconds here. So a few more. Well, we'll let those people know. So everything's for a minute today. With the stuff that I'm doing right now, it's going to take about 12 minutes. Okay, we'll transition to go about 14 minutes max. Um, yeah, going to be a good one today. So let's get rocking and rolling here. I have my timer, so the timer doesn't lie. Okay. So the very first one, we're gonna lay on our backs and we're going into a crunch. Okay, so what I want you to do, Abby, we'll start right now. Okay, I want you to hold just elbows to knees. Okay, we're gonna hold that for a minute and that is starting. We'll go three. I suppose I better do it too. Two, one, and go. Okay, Abby's got her hands on her ears, okay, if that is a little too hard, you can just try and get those elbows to your knees, right, I want everyone to keep trying to crunch up and towards your knees, okay, if knees aren't coming to me, I'm going to my knees, okay, we're breathing through this, we're feeling our low backs push into the floor, nice and easy, and our neck, head, and shoulders, all our focus is into that core, we're warming our core up here. Nice big lift. Breathe it in through your nose, out through your mouth. And we're rocking here, okay? We have only one minute to go. Nice job, every one minute to go. 10 seconds to go. Oh boy. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay. The next one, you're gonna go to your stomach, okay? Abby's gonna give you the side view here. We're gonna go right by the first hip extension. So all that is is raising that leg up and down. Ready, set, and go. I'm gonna coach you through these as we're doing them. So let's see you go. I will have that. Let's go with your head resting on your hands. Okay, I want you to think of that belly button staying facing the floor so there's no rotation happening in your hips or in your your pelvis here okay so we can flatten or crunch and push our abs into the floor by now i mean we're halfway there my butt cheek my glute is burning a little bit i don't know about abby's yeah this is a great alternative to the other one which we've been doing just to switch it up a little bit. Yeah. This is gonna get a little bit intense after this is done here. <laughs> right? We're really firing those muscles up. Okay, and this is something if if you can't make it through this minute here, come back to this. Work on this every day. So it takes 12 minutes. Three, two, one, left leg, right into it. Here we go. If you have pain, remember to stop. Or if a minute's too long, do 30 seconds. Go to your own pace. Like I said, hips aren't rotating. 
we're gonna keep that leg pretty straight. We're squeezing our glute. At the same time, your opposite leg can drive into the floor. So we're mimicking walking or that locomotion, right? One side's doing flexion, the other extension. Very good, we have 25 seconds to go here. In 20 seconds, we're gonna go into a plank. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go into that high plank. So on your arms, if you have wrist pain, go to a low plank. If you need to adjust, I'll talk about that. So, and rest. All right, up on those hands, high plank, one minute, and go. So with that plank, we have our hands right underneath our shoulders. Okay, we're not sagging into our shoulder blades. We're very strong and separating those shoulder blades and then even putting them into your back pocket. So imagine with your hands right now, you're making that motion of, let's say, slamming your trunk door shut. We're halfway already. So we're distributing that weight evenly across your body. If you take, Abby's got that better view here. If I held a string or a pole from her ear to her ankle, it'd all be a nice straight line. So quads, glutes, your entire body is firing up here. And if you can hold a plank for a minute, that's pretty good, right? Our core is meant to contract and relax. So this is really challenging. And rest. Okay, hey, we're gonna go right into the next little circuit here. We're gonna lay on our side, okay? Let's start with the right leg first, okay? So right leg is gonna go up in the air. You're gonna also put your right hand on your right hip, okay? This is our move right here. Raising up, not too high. I don't want your hip hiking up, okay? So we're holding that hip down, working right into that glute medius here. One minute starts now. So under control, right, there's no momentum. I'm not going up super fast and then coming down slow. We're going at the same pace, up and down. So for all these today, we're doing them for a minute. I want you to keep good technique, good form, no pain. Push yourself to your limit and as far as you can go, right? I don't want to see form compromised. We don't want to see form compromised. So here, that glue should be starting to burn a little bit. Abby, if you feel it. Uh, yeah. In 10 seconds, we're going to roll over and do the same thing on the left side. And switch yeah. right to that left side. Good work. We'll go in three, two, one. Here we go. Hand on the hip. Right, like I said, control on the way up, control on the way down. Hopefully everyone's got their water in this morning already. We did touch on that last week. Have a water bottle or a glass of water by your bed. Have that be the first thing you do in the morning before your feet even touch the ground. Get in at least eight ounces. I get in 32 ounces. I do space that out. I don't drink all 32 right away. Probably takes me about 10 minutes. Firing up that glue. We have 10 seconds here. It's a long minute. <laughs> it's right here, I promise, I'm not lying. Three, two, one, rest. We'll stay on this side, okay, since we just worked that left leg. We're gonna get the left leg out of the way. So now we're gonna do a little adduction of your hip, so inner thigh here. So all we're doing, lifting that leg straight up. Again, not, you'll see people just cruise through this one. 
Same speed on the way up and on the way down and go. <laughs> Were you going already? I sure was. <laughs> Little extra never hurt. No. I know I feel my left glute burning here from that last one. These are a little bit harder to control and yeah. go smoother. Sure is. But this isn't a motion we do a lot across our body. You'll probably notice as you as we get deeper into this, we're past 30 seconds already, you start to control it a little better. We have 20 seconds to go. Abby's maybe got about 15. Starting to feel that in the inner thigh. We have 10 seconds here. Keep digging here. Keep digging. Feel that burn. Take it back to the 80s. Make it burn. And rest. Okay, right to the other side. Now we have that left leg going for a little adduction. Feels good. Abby's feeling the burn. All right, we're going in three, two, one. Here we go. We only have three exercises after this. With Alyssa. Let's <laughs> try to check. Enjoy this little warm up. It might seem kind of easy for a max out on Monday, but it's going to get way harder. Halfway. If you want to see me possibly fall over on the floor, garage floor, today might be the day. I'm not going to pain, right? I, I do have a knee surgery. Getting close to a year ago, 10 seconds. But I'm going to be smart with that. Way to go, out. Way to go. Three, two, one. Good. All right. Now, we're going to stand, okay? We don't need... We did all... Yeah. We don't need a breather here. We have three moves to go. So I will make sure everyone gets standing up here. We're going to do three-way bends, and we'll do each move for 20 seconds. So the first one is a forward and a backward bend. Okay, and we will start now. So we'll maybe get in about three, four, five reps here. Feel those hamstrings, back of your legs firing up. Right, these three moves are moves that I do every morning, no matter what, when I wake up as well. Okay, there's 20 seconds. Now we're gonna take and switch to that side bend. So we're going side to side, just getting that bend right from your lumbar. Hi, Blake. Hi. Come say hi. Just wave at the phone right there. <laughs> okay, the phone. <laughs> oh my gosh. He thinks he's a cowboy these days. Okay, now we're going to take and rotate our hips. Okay, so I like to add that punch in there. Actually, I take that back. We're gonna slow this one down. Arms here, and okay? sorry. It's okay. And rotate, and rotate. Just a little different way to work into that Hi, Maddie. thoracic spine. If you want, we can even keep that head facing forward the whole time. I like this one. I know I feel a really big difference from side to side. I don't know if you do, Abby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next two, last two. We're going all one side first. Okay. We're doing standing hip flexion. Not at all speed. Again, same pace up, same pace down. Ready, set, and go. So we have balance happening here too. Let's be really strong in that left leg that's staying straight. I lost my balance. Get that knee up as high as you can. This is a burner. Bring that foot. We don't have to really set it down. 
but just bring that foot back to the same spot. Core is engaged. We're standing tall. Imagine a string attached to the top of your head. 15 seconds. This is too easy. Arms out. This is a burner. You should really be feeling that hip flexor, hip flexors, and switch sides right into it. Left leg. Really strong, and I like that staying straight. Nice contact with the ground with our foot. Again, core is engaged. Maybe see what those differences are from side to side. Are you leaning more on one side? Maybe need a little more work in that core or just even on that side have some imbalances. Standing nice and tall. Fifteen seconds to go, and we've made it. We're going to grab some water after this real quick, and then pay attention, rest. Nice job. Okay, anything else you need to do to maybe warm up those legs a little bit? By all means, get some twisting. Ryan, Kurt. Ashley, Heidi, thanks for joining us, you guys. Okay, a little quick thing before we go into the next round. We're about 16 minutes in, so listen to my line a little bit. Just kidding. Um, it's important to remember it's max out Monday, okay? So change really happens when we go to failure in the weight room, in the gym. Um, we kind of push ourselves out of that comfort level safely. Remember, all these are for a minute. We'll walk you through them. If you can make 30 seconds, maybe that's failure for you, right? Yeah. It's on a personal level here. Don't go to any pain. Remember heart rate, all that stuff. If it gets too high, you need to stop and rest. You can always hit pause, join back in. The key here is to push yourself just a little bit more to feel that change happen, okay? So the first, we're gonna do it in twos. The first two exercises are gonna be a sumo squat. Toes are out, shoulders are back. Alyssa can show, there's not really a modification for this. You just don't go as low if it hurts. Yep, and that's just fine as long as we keep that good form. We're gonna go for a minute, and right after that, we're gonna hold a squat for a minute. Now you can hold this way. It's easier for me to hold that sumo squat. You can hold that for a minute. If that's hard and you have a wall, you can just do a wall sit for a minute, okay? So we're gonna go right into these. Let's Alyssa's get it. got the timer, which is a little scary, but here we go. Believe me, I'm doing it too. Right. One minute sumo squats. Here we go. All right. Now I know we have a couple people on that don't love lower body stuff due to knees. You can always throw in some overhead presses, some push-ups, some dips instead of these squats if you need to. Absolutely. Good modification. But doing so for a minute can bring us pretty close to failure. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, get a few more reps in. Again, if you have weights at home and you wanna use them, go ahead. We have 20 seconds here, 20. Not so bad yet. I think that might come back. 10 seconds. We're gonna go right into that hole. We're not taking a break unless you need it. Three, two, one, hold. Toes are out, shoulders are back, butts down. I don't go much lower than 90 just because of my knee injuries. If you can, go ahead. Here's where the pain comes in just a little bit. Squads are burning. We will tend to want to slouch when we get tired. Shoulders back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Liz is going to give us a halfway. That's mark. right past halfway, 25 seconds. We're not going to do this again, so try to push through these exercises. We're not going to repeat these for a 
gonna give it all you've got right here. Right here, okay? We're almost there. We have our last 10 seconds. These are just as much time. A mental, a little bit of a mental workout here. You kinda gotta go to your happy place. Grab a quick drink, we will give you little breathers between each one here. Yeah, I'll on. Sit there.
Recovery is super important, you guys. Three, two, one, hold in. Holy moly. Here's where we, here's where we go, baby. This is where we separate. Pushing through that. Changes happen here. Right, we gotta be uncomfortable to change, to grow. We're gonna make it on that other side here. Okay, dig in. Anything you put your mind to, like you, you said, can accomplish. Right, and this might be 30 seconds for you, might be maximal effort, okay? That's fine. Next time we come back to stuff like this, maybe it's 40 seconds. Past right? halfway, I'm going back into it, right? I, I was going down there. We still got a little time left on the clock, 20 seconds. I can keep pushing. It hurts, but it's only a minute. Less than 10 seconds. We got it. I'm gonna sink lower for those last 10. And good. Walk it out. Woo. All right. <laughs> Alyssa's down, she hit the floor. Okay, grab a drink. Like I said, we have to recover between these sets. Yup. Jade's in, Brandy's in. Give us a thumbs up if you're watching. Or give us a thumbs up if you're doing the workout, because all it just says is you're watching. Yeah. Yeah, give us that give us those thumbs up right now. We got grabbing water. Okay, next. We are gonna do my uh, Zoom clients this morning are gonna get a lot of this in today. We're gonna do a twisting plank. Give those legs a break a little bit. We're gonna want our forearms, we're just gonna roll side to side, okay? We're gonna do a minute of that. And then we're going to go on a minute of alternating supermans. Okay? Cool. I like this. The one. modification of these is just to do less, okay? You know? Or, if, I mean, you can go on your knees slightly for those planks if you need. Yeah, like, maybe just a little less range of motion, yeah. right? I know my range of motion has increased as I've gotten better at these. And same thing, you fall, take a little breather, get right back up. We can keep pushing it. All right? Keep playing. Go. I like to roll this foot up onto my other one. That's a little more advanced version. Keep breathing, right? Anytime we're doing these core exercises, we're breathing. Maybe if you can't get that roll, you just drop kind of that from your hip straight yep. down. Yep. And if it hurts to move at all, you just hold the plank. Absolutely. A minute is a long time. Halfway. Breathing. Ten seconds. Here we go, we got it. Three. Time. Good. Go to that Superman. Alternating, so it'll be your right arm, your left leg. We're gonna pop that glute, okay? This is going to show us the lateral version. We got a little extra rest. Here we go. Got it, Liz? Yep. Okay. Squeezing your glute. Activate that glute, okay? A lot of times those are shut off, which can cause some low back pain, knee pain. We want those glutes firing, all of it. Okay, it's big as muscle in the body. They need to be working. This has got her head down, and I kind of like to look just neutral. It's whatever's comfortable for you. Pointing those toes towards the back wall. Pass halfway. Here we go, 30 seconds left. 20. Here we go. Less than 20. Feel my low back working. Not in a bad way, strengthening. Five seconds. Feel those glutes. Yep. Time. Good. Again, recover. Ugh. Way to go. We're gonna get that upper body a little more here next. Hi, Ashley. 
I'm going to show you these. We're going to do a walking push-up. Now, if you can't, <laughs> this is laughing. If you can't do this, you can just, I'm going to step out, same arm, same leg. I'm going to do a push-up, and then I'm going to go to the other side, okay? If you can't do the push-up, you can just walk. Okay? And if you can't do that, you can just hold the plank again. That's totally fine. Yep. Or go to your knees a little bit. Oh, yep. this will show us into that. Yep. And then the next thing, we're going to go low plank and we're just going to punch out to the side. Low Notice hand. how I'm not twisting. Okay? So my hips are staying square to the mat. Okay? One minute of each. This is going to be challenging. Yep. Just take a peek at me. If you need a little modification, I'll be showing those from time to time. We're going to go to the right first and we're going to start here. Ready and go. So right arm, right leg, step out together. Body working together. So I'm just dropping to my knees as I go down. If I'm getting good range of motion so far, that may not continue into this minute. <laughs> We never want to rush through any of these exercises. Halfway. My arms are burning. Again, you go as long as you can to failure. 15 seconds. We got it, we got it. Let's get a keep, couple more. Keep going, keep going. Three seconds, two, one, good. That's hard. Great work, you guys. Shake them out just a second. We're going into those plank punches. Most important thing here is controlling that core, not to twist, okay? Well, this is gonna tell us when to go. Ready, set, here we go. I'll talk about some modifications as well. Shoulders are gonna be on fire, you guys, in this one. If this just isn't possible from those elbows, you can be high, tap your hands, tap your hands, tap your hands. Okay, let's try that low. I'm trying to stay as still as possible with my hips, my core. Halfway. Halfway. These kind of workouts are fun because we're not doing, I love circuit workouts, but we're not repeating anything so much. Right. So it keeps a little fresh variety. We're not going through and being like, okay, we're gonna do three sets of squats and push-ups. We can switch it up a little bit. Five seconds. <laughs> and rest. Alyssa's oh, gonna be sore. My leg is shaking. That's good. Woo! Grab a drink. We're really going to push the hydration and the rest and recovery. Hey, Sarah. Oh, Sarah Bugby. Oh, yeah. Hi, Sarah. It's my cousin. We, awesome. and I'm really going to push that rest and recovery this week just because I think now, what are we, three weeks into this? Mm -hmm. Is that our third week? Our body's going to start to break down if we don't take a day off or do a stretch day or do a yoga day. Yep. Go check out Lucent Yoga Facebook and YouTube page. She's got some good stuff. She'll be in this week for a 11 a.m. stretch on Wednesday and I think a 7 a.m. live on Friday. Okay, next two exercises. No mat needed. I'll demo and then we'll start. We're going gate six. Okay, I'll this will show the step out. Right? Step. Uh, yeah. Well, let's just do these yeah. because we're going to do lateral lunges. So Perfect. gate six. And then we're going to go right into lateral lunges, okay? We're going to alternate because we're going to do a minute, okay? And those lateral lunges, you can go like this. Yeah. If you can't step, I may do a little bit of variation. So when we're ready, we're going to start with those gate sinks. Ready, set, and here we go. I like to put my arms up and sink down into that squat and pop up light on those feet. I'm staying low here, right? My butt is down. I'm not bobbing up and down. Could balance a nice bucket of water on my head. <laughs> I think we should make do that. I don't know if you want to right now. <laughs> Keep breathing. We're halfway. Again, 30 seconds might be your max. Push for a minute. Maybe if you make 32 seconds, that's great.
push those muscles here to their mm -hmm. maximum capacity. Halfway. Make sure that knee is not going on over the toe. Okay. Get that breath going. All right, I've got my Iron Man shirt on. Pretending like I'm him. Have your kiddos dress up for the 11 a.m. And uh, take a picture, put it in the comments. Superhero workout with LT. Look at that, and we are good. In nice. one minute. I like his next two. Okay, we're 36 minutes in. Let us know where you're working out from. Okay, give us a, what is the thumbs up? Is that just thumbs watching? Thumbs up if you're actually doing it or if you're just watching, let us know. <laughs> Okay, we got like a few more circuits here. Let's get it. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go jumping backs for a minute. And then we're gonna go into those Cuban press for a minute, okay? Ooh. A minute is a long time. A minute sure is a long time. If you can't jump, okay, you can't bring those arms up, let's just go in and out. Yep. Okay, there's a little modification here. Listen. All right, let's go. I'll try not to look down. So I'm just going out, out, in, in. I don't have much of a jump, if any, going on here. I'm going to add a little pep in my step. Okay. I'm not standing. Got my butt down. Moving from those hips. Jumping jacks are great. The whole body works together. It's kind of free. You're kind of stretching up and stretching out. Feels good. We're past halfway. Way to work it. 10 seconds here. We got this. We're going to go right into those cubans with no rest. Three, two, one, and switch. Good. You can also do these with soup cans, five pound dumbbells, threes, a couple water bottles. So we want to pull up, high elbows rotate, and down. Those elbows are high every time we rotate, okay? Elbows are high, we rotate. But you want to notice is that mobility in your shoulders, okay? As we strength train more, we lose mobility if we do not work on it, okay? 20 seconds. It's going to be a nice day, so everyone should get out for a walk. I think it's up raining. Looks like the sun's coming out. I heard 55. That's amazing. 58, 59, rest. <laughs> 55 degrees too, that is what I meant. <laughs> Just slide. <laughs> oh, my leg, my legs are really still Kelly is watching and she's gonna do it with her daughter when her daughter wakes up, that's awesome. I think I used to train one of your daughters with little turkeys. Okay, skaters, okay, side to side. We'll see a modification. Yes, we're just gonna do that little Sean T move, so we're getting that lateral. Okay, we'll go here. Oh, Alyssa will tell you when to switch sides. Yeah, we'll go 30 seconds on a side. And then we're gonna go a little bit of a single leg RDL. Okay. Modification for that, okay. The biggest modification would be to keep both feet down, one foot's in front. We'll just get a hinge here. Otherwise, you can just use. Get that leg back. Okay, a couple different options. If most likely balance is that tough part there. But we can try to push yourself. Work on that balance. Okay? We'll walk you through those as we're going. Yeah. Start with skaters. Here we go. And go. Follow me. Okay. Okay, I'm pushing off as far as we can. Off that single leg. This is a very athletic movement. If you're following me, we're half until we switch legs, following Abby, keep going, keep going, five seconds, we'll switch legs, and switch right into it, feel the outside of my glutes burning here, that's good, Ooh, slippery, move your eyes, 